way to the hospital. It is 9.30 p.m. on February 5th, right? <laughs> and I think I might be in early labor, pretty sure, but trying not to get too hyped up about it. And uh, mom's just packing what she might need for the hospital. <laughs> I'm like pacing around because I don't do well at relaxing. Here's my situation. Look at how large my belly looks. There she is. Still looking very beautiful. Oh yes, ravishing. Ravishing. <laughs> Mom's um, distract, contraction, distraction. Oh, that rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> what the f <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> the windmill arms. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ow, I have a foot cramp. What time is it? 8.59? 8.49? It's 8.30 on February 6th and I was up basically all night. I slept sort of because I was woken up by lovely contractions. However, they're still 7 to 10 minutes apart, waiting for them hopefully to get closer together. And then I have a doctor's appointment today anyways, but hopefully we'll be at the hospital sooner than that. 11.06 a.m. I've had enough. I think it's slowly progressing, but not as fast as I think anyone would want it to. <laughs> We're going. We're on our way to the hospital. It's 12.34 and I'm fucking dying. <laughs> so I'm only a centimeter dilated. So they're probably gonna send us home, but oh well. Right. No baby yet. I am now officially checked into my room at the hospital and I won't be leaving here without a baby. So that's pretty crazy. Brennan just went to grab some food with his mom and my mom's having a nap at home before coming here because it's still quite a journey until we're actually to live labor and wait like delivery and stuff no medication yet but i'm totally welcoming it if i need i don't care about not having an epidural i will get the epidural It's 8.21 p.m. February 6th. Baby's likely going to be born on February 7th. And I had, how many hours was that of the contractions? You came to the hospital at like 12.30. 12.30, and then when did I even get the epidural? Like 6.20. Serious? And then it was still a good 45 minutes. So it was like seven and a bit hours. So I had about seven and a bit hours of the most ratchet pain I have ever experienced. And now I have the epidural and it's like the best thing in the world. I know some people are super against it, but I don't care. I can actually see and breathe and talk and I'm feeling so much better. See what happens. Brennan has been the best support person. It's been so good. I feel like I could cry thinking about it because he's been so good. I was laying in the bath, like <laughs> I felt like it was true savagery. Naked in the bath with these things wrapped around my belly. The nurse just coming in, basically adjusting everything for me. It's been crazy, but the body is an amazing thing and I look at all mothers now a whole lot differently. <laughs> Did you learn anything exciting? No, just tell wonderful epidurals are, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Various meal of jello, yeah, apple juice, not, tea. Popsicles and brown. Dad, are you cutting the cord? I 
I just didn't have that stupid indigestion. Yeah, uh, that yeah, it's so like. Let's go. On my heel. Oh, sorry. Deep sorry. breath. Is he? No, I can't walk. Okay, there's one start. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I didn't even cry for the first time. Oh, I didn't even cry for the first time. She's so cute. Oh, she's cheese. And the end. Yeah. Oh, look at this. She starts crying soon here when she discovers they don't have a dress. Nope, that's not gonna work on me. Is she trying to suck? Yeah, please. She's sucking. That's not gonna work on me. The deed was done at 3.35 in the morning. <laughs> Baby Ray was delivered. Can I go weave? We have my no name. But we did it. You did very well. And you helped. So good. We are finally getting to take Baby home. It's February 8th, so it's really only the day after she was born. She's so precious. I'm sitting here crying because I already don't want her to get any bigger. <laughs> What are we doing here? <laughs> Going home. Baby's first car ride. <laughs> Daddy chauffeur. So we're now in day three, post delivery. I guess, okay. Okay, so I guess day two postpartum, whatever. Day two, day three. Things have been going so well. I'm so, I feel so fortunate. She's breastfeeding so well. And so I really can't complain. Obviously so tired. I've barely slept the last four nights, but that's just part of it. And she's so cute and it's so crazy and so surreal. She's so healthy. She was eight pounds, four ounces. I feel pretty good. A little bit sore, but I feel good. So cute. Okay, I better tend to the baby. 